Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here and uh, going to get the Waypoint, the Phantom 3 Waypoint field test underway. Uh, first time I've tested it. Uh, there were uh, a lot of comments from fans and I've, I know I've already posted the point of interest, which I really liked, and then also the follow me, but the weather didn't permit. I think there was a uh, tropical depression uh, that was prohibiting me from going out to the field. So what I'm going to do first, as I always do, I'm going to check the wind speed. Uh, wind's coming at my back. Uh, we've got about 3.3, 3 3.8, 6, 6.3, 7.3, 8, 9.4. Topped out at 9.4 knots wind speed, but it seems to be stabilizing around 5 or 6 knots. So considerable amount of wind, and that's actually a good thing because for this test, I'll be able to, uh, to further test the stability during waypoint flight as well. So I'm going to power everything up now. We're just going to go through all of this. Hopefully my screen uh, display will work and you'll be able to see what I see uh, while I'm flying. So that's my expectation. I'm linking all of that up right now. And uh, we should be able to, uh, to see how well or how poorly the waypoints work. So I'm going to turn that on. Okay, we're going to get airborne before we start our waypoint. I'm going to double check, make sure I'm recording here. And I'm still recording, that's good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do as I had mentioned previously, and I'm at a safe and responsible altitude, I'm going to toggle from P as in Paul to F as in Frank. Once I've done that, I've, I'm now greeted with my intelligent navigation options. So in this field test, I'm going to do waypoints. So I'm going to select waypoints. It says select, select an existing route or begin to record a new one. So I'm going to do a new mission. They call it a mission. Um, so now I'm actually flying, and I think this should be... So I'm going to make that waypoint number one right there. So record C1. So that's recorded C1. And now I'm going to bring it back this way. And I'm going to record uh, C2 up here. Okay, so there's my second one. And then I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm going to do a third waypoint. And now I'm actually going to increase in elevation a little bit and see if it does that. And I'm going to go over here for my next waypoint. Okay, so I've recorded that waypoint. Now what I'm going to do is hit done. Uh, you can choose the speed. I'm just going to leave it on default. And I'm going to do apply. The aircraft will return home if return home altitude is triggered. Hit apply. It says uploading waypoints. Now it is flying its mission. As it calls it a mission. So it should go over there. And then it should turn. We're getting close to where it was. Okay, that was the waypoint. Now it's going to the next one. Doing that as expected. Now it's coming over here. And it is increasing in altitude like I told it to when I did my test. When I did the uh, flight for it to record. And now it's hovering. So it's hovering now because it's reached the final destination. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to regain manual control by going to P is in Paul mode. And now as you can see, 
I've got manual control of it again. And I'm no longer flying in the uh, waypoint flight mode. So that is super duper cool. And it worked, uh, let's see, I'm gonna get on the video here. It worked just as expected. I mean, it. it's a bummer that I had to fly the path to record the path. But like many viewers have stated, you know, maybe just record that offline before you get to your flying location. And that's something I'm gonna play with next because I haven't, uh, obviously this is my first field test with waypoints. And again, I'm using the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, the, I need to test it with iPod Touch, so stay tuned with that for a future video. So far, iPod Touch would work with point of interest. iPod Touch would not work with, uh, with uh, Follow Me. But I think it probably will work with Waypoint, so that's to be tested. So thanks for watching. Check the link within this video's description, 400 or below.com, and you can find all my videos. And be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash Irix guy. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.